Girls Art School is an after-school hands-on visual arts education program. The way our program works is we collaborate with elementary schools in the Oklahoma City Public School District. They choose our girls for us and it's not based on talent, it's based on if they're interested, motivated, and if they need something positive in their lives. And once the school chooses our girls in third or fourth grade, then the girls are welcome to stay with us until they graduate from high school. We have a very strict curriculum that we follow and on top of that, we invite local artists to come in and teach the girls, talk about their life as an artist, including the business of art. And then we also take the girls out in to the communities. Uh, most of our students have never seen an art gallery or an art museum until they set foot at Girls Art School. So we take them all over the city, teach them about the importance of art. Um, we talk a lot about public art and the accessibility of that and why it's important to the success of our community. When I was a little kid, I always thought that I was an artist. But my dad was creative, my mom was creative, and so I just soaked all of that up and always enjoyed art class in school. And then it was in high school where I had an art teacher that really saw my potential and encouraged me to take art every year, and she helped me get a scholarship. So I went to Oklahoma City University, and there I just blossomed with the amount of information and art history and those professors who still influence me as a teacher and an artist today. There's not a medium that I don't like. I just crave being able to learn new things, and I think that's one of my favorite things about being a teacher at Girls Art School is I have, I have had to learn new things. A few years ago, I was accepted into a program called Leadership Arts, and it's through the State Arts Council. That's where I met Matt Moffitt, who was the founder and executive director of the Tulsa Girls Art School. I fell in love with his stories and his vision, couldn't stop thinking about it, woke up every single day for months, and finally decided that Oklahoma City needed something. So with his approval, we modeled the program after Tulsa, and we did a pilot program in 2015 and started that fall with our first year. So we're almost all the way through our fifth year. When Girls Art School very first started, we were invited by Amy Young, who is the founder and executive director of 612, which is a community education center down in the Paseo. And so for the first two years, we were able to set up our shop. We grew out of that pretty quick. And so um, the last two years, we rented out the back gallery of individual artists of Oklahoma uh, in Film Row. And then just this June, we were able to find our own building. It's our own space. It's amazing. We can make messes and not have to worry about uh, interrupting anybody else. You know, starting in third and fourth grade when the girls first come in, we're just setting a foundation. So the girls are learning basic drawing, you know, just how acrylic paints work, how to use a brush, why there's different size brushes with different shapes, different kinds of pencils. And then each year we add on to that. And so, for instance, um, our fifth year students, they've done everything from photography. Uh, we've painted a mural. You know, in, in years past, we've done everything from fiber art, which includes weaving. Uh, this year we're doing uh, needle felting. So we get to add on to the different levels as they go. So they get to be more advanced and learn more about um, particular mediums. So currently at Girls Art School, we're studying needle felting. It's part of our fiber unit, and so every single one of our students this year are studying felting. Um, so over here you've got all the, the, it's wool roving, and so it's all unspun fibers. And so the girls get to choose whatever colors they want, and we have um, a piece of fabric on top of a, kind of a piece of foam, and um, they push a special kind of needle through the roving onto their fabric and it felts it. And so they can create different images and designs with the felting. So we'll show you some examples of some of the student work and then I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we've been studying about Frida Kahlo and so we learned about Frida's garden. And Frida was an incredible um, gardener and she had such a relationship with plants and flowers and animals and so the girls uh, did some sketches in response to Frida and so this is a sixth grader her name's Estrella and these are her flower designs for her sketch and then this is her felting that she's currently working on so you can see they had she had to translate her sketch onto the piece of fabric here and then she uses the needle to felt. This is a fourth grader's uh, completed project. She drew her sketch of Frida Kahlo and executed it really well onto her felting. 
This is another fourth graders. We, we learned about the Blue House uh, where Frida Kahlo grew up and so she was inspired by that and finished her felting about the Blue House. This is a sophomore in high school and her name's Ariana and she did these beautiful cactuses. We're really proud of her. It turned out so neat. And you can see the difference. Hers is very fluffy. She didn't completely felt it all the way flat. So that's what's so neat about our project is you can still experiment and try out new things with the fiber. And then this is a freshman's named Anissa and it is her finished cactus. Whenever I teach at Girls Art School and a student feels like they're in a rut or they're having a real hard time or they just feel like they're not getting it, um, I always talk about failure and that it's okay to make mistakes and that's the only way that we're going to learn. And I try to think about when I was a kid, you know, and how scary it was to try something new and to be so scared at failing at it. And so I would not do things just because I was so scared. So I always tell our students that we're going to try this, we're probably all going to mess up and we're all going to fail, but we're all going to learn from that. Um, so it's really neat to see a student, you know, I've had tears, you know, with projects in the beginning, but maybe by the end of the week, you know, their smiles and they're feeling really proud. I think one of the biggest achievements of the Girls Art School has been just the success and the level of art that has been created from our students. Even going into this program, I was apprehensive about what kind of work could be developed by a third grader. But every single year, these students blow me away with their capacity to produce something so beautiful. And um, people are amazed that a, a small child created that. And it just reinforces to me that if you give children a safe place where they can experiment and try new things and have the, the time and the support to create, then they're going to be successful. My favorite thing about being with Oklahoma City Girls Art School and working every day at this job is when you introduce something new to a child and you see those light bulbs go off in their eyes and the excitement form because it could be three or four years, you know, learning all different kinds of techniques and mediums before you finally get a kiddo that will say, this is it, this is what I love. And, and I love that part of my job because if we don't give access to these kids and ability to try things out, they'll never know whether they're good or not. So it's pretty uh, fulfilling and exciting. You can be an artist, you can be any level of artist. If you're, if you're making art just for yourself, if you're making art to show, you're making art to sell, you're making art to, to send a message, that we're all a part of it and you don't have to be college trained to be an artist. There's so many different types of creativity and art forms. I know that most of our girls won't become professional artists, but I truly believe that every aspect of our lives is bettered by the arts, whether it be visual arts, performing arts, music. Um, I think it makes learning more accessible. I think people and communities grow from accessibility to the arts. So I just really want kids and adults to understand how important the arts are and hopefully they'll become advocates for the arts and supporters of the arts later on in their lives.